So I came to Last Door 31 years ago as an individual who was struggling with addiction and experiencing homelessness. My name's Peter Becca. I'm the program manager for Last Door Youth Program. I uh, started out as a volunteer when they opened the youth program and uh, had a um, very strong debt of gratitude to this organization for how it transformed um, my own personal life um, as a person who came from living on a tent, homeless, um, estranged from my family in a dereliction of addiction to a position where I was employable. I had this uh, you know, desire to sort of contribute back to that and you know, pay that forward. So I started as a volunteer and stayed connected with the organization. I'm the old, the old dog here now. I've been uh, with them for quite a while and um, I love watching families heal and connect um, individuals, find safety, find shelter, and most importantly, find dreams again and have hope. Um, Hockey Helps the Homeless has given us a great opportunity and I can speak on our, our most um, recent uh, recipient, who uh, Jordan, and uh, I was the person who took the first phone call. And we kind of talk about the stories a little about how our phone calls happen. It's always a dark and stormy night and most of the time it's a mom, but Jordan called and asked like, hey, I need help. Um, I, I'm homeless. Um, I have a really severe drug problem and I don't have any other options. Um, he had heard of us through the grapevine and I, I went back to our team and I think I have the perfect person. You know, coming to the last door was probably one of the most crucial decisions I made in my life. Coming from a place of complete hopelessness, you know, um, I was uh, on the streets, uh, homeless. Um, I was hanging out with people I really shouldn't have been hanging out with, doing some things that I shouldn't have, and uh, every day was a struggle, you know? And, uh, you know, coming to the Last Door Youth Program um, really opened, you know, my eyes uh, to, you know, that possibility that recovery is possible and that uh, I can change and, uh, you know, get my family back in my life, um, be there for my family in times of crisis and not just, you know, stay the way I was. Hi, my name is Mary Ward and my son is Jordan. I was uh, really worried about my son. We were just so worried, my husband and I, but me as a mother, I have uh, seen a child going that low, that uh, into that addiction that I was even, we weren't even concerned about, about his life. We were just concerned about him getting a phone call to say uh, so and uh, my son is at the hospital or something like that. So we were really, really worried about him, especially because what he was doing. I am actually really grateful that my husband was still alive when my son got uh, sober because when he passed away, I don't know what would have done it. Me by, my, by myself with my son in addiction, it would be a chaos for me, but I mean, it, it's a relief that he got clean and my, my husband got to see him clean. And I am sure that the last door say, saved my son's life and I'm so very grateful for that. You know, I'm not homeless anymore. I, you know, I'm a, I, I rent an apartment now. I, I'm looking forward to my career and uh, you know it's it's really looking upwards from here now and I can I only have the last word to thank for that. One of the hardest things about our job is that when you're talking to someone on the phone they want to access treatment you feel like you'd be a good fit we want to give them hope and we have to say no because there's no funding and through Hockey Helps the Homeless it's like we get to say yes I get to feel inspired about hearing that hope in someone's voice that they're going to be able to get well through Last Door. Uh, Hockey Helps the Homeless funding is invaluable to Last Door Youth Program because it provides an opportunity for a family who wouldn't qualify for treatment. Um, so this would give an individual anywhere between 8 and 10 months of treatment. That would be an opportunity to um, heal their family relationships, um, heal from their addictions and mental health disorders, to connect to a peer group, community supports, and then to integrate back into our community as a um, person who's either employed or in school or back with their family. So really your money that you donate and fundraise for is actually helping heal families and it's helping kids find a new trajectory in life. You're basically giving someone like myself um, you know, uh, an opportunity to find dreams, to, um, you know, rebuild and, and have a life with purpose and, and dignity and, and a sense of integrity.